back, everybody. My next... My next guest is an actor. He stars in Free Agents and Saturday Nights on BBC America. Take a look at this. You could knock. Might have been in the middle of my morning. Sorry. Having said that, if I had been in the middle of my morning, wouldn't have minded you walking in at all. Uh, thanks. Or, no thanks. Not, not one out round about 11, if you want to make a mental note. Look, I can't do this, all right? Not, not when it's the first one since Pete. Not if I'm even going to think about being a godparent. I'm not going to that funeral. I don't think you've met Sally Ann, Charlie Renfrew's widow. Hi. I'm saying a few words at that funeral, and we were just going over my speech. <laughs> Art British people, croissant classy. <laughs> Please welcome Anthony Head, everybody. Anthony Head. It's so nice to see you. I haven't seen you since I used to kiss you every night in London. I thought we did more than that. Well, we did. Tony and I were in a play we were together, a play. weren't we, dear? We were. We were in a musical. What was the name of it again? It was called Rocky Horror. Oh, yes, the Rocky Horror. What character did you play? I played Frank and Furter. And I played Brad Majors. You did? Yes. You were very good. You were very good. Oh, no, you yeah, were better. No, you were very good. <laughs> we used to have to pretend to have sex every night, and then one night... <laughs> I did, I, ha I, I yes, I, I, I touched your shiny ball, didn't I? Many yeah, times. yeah. Many times. This one. That one. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you're all grown up. We're so proud of your look. Oh, well, because I, I, I have a basement in America <laughs> where I... <laughs> Do a public access cable show. <laughs> this is this, I, I, I'm like you know because I'm in England and I sort of, I just access it every now and again on the internet. Oh yes, at the CBS website. I'm of course not in any way. <laughs> no, no, of course, no, no, no. At the um, CBS. So you've got a computer now, have you? <laughs> yeah. Well, good for you. Because no, no, because when we were doing the Rocky Horror Show, computers weren't invented. Well, they were, but they were big things like million-dollar brain, you know, yeah. big wheels and things. They, they had wheels on them and uh, Rocky Dinga inside them <laughs> operate them I remember that you used to have in calculators you used to have a Rocky on your back <laughs> when you punch the end and Rocky go it's four <laughs> and you... <laughs> this is a long time ago when we did that play man this like, is like 20 like years ago nine. 20 years ago I know. man Gee, you look great I'm falling apart you look <laughs> you look as if you're inhabited by somebody fabulous I tell you yeah. <laughs> I am occasionally. Have you met Jeff? Uh, Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. He's a he's a skeleton robot. What have you been up to then? Um, I've been, oh, you're doing the show. I'm That's doing, nice. doing, yeah. And and because because it's I'm playing a, an evil but not an evil boss but an inappropriate boss and, and I think I could take a a note or two from you because you played an inappropriate boss on the Drew Carey show. Drew Carey, is it something about like European accents or British accents? Do you think? Well, Tell you, Tony. I think what, what it do is. You think is, it is? Well, I think what it is is that um, you know English accents sometimes lend themselves to some kind of pomposity. Now, <laughs> yours, yours doesn't clearly. Uh, you, you've got a lovely accent and very nice hair. <laughs> I'm awesome at this talk show thing, am I? <laughs> So, uh, are you still living in Bath, then, yeah. with, the, with the missus and the, yeah. and the girls? Yeah, the what age are your girls now? Your, your, your youngest daughter was born when we were doing uh, the Rocky Horror Show. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I remember you took the night off and I had to make out with another bloke. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go, he said, Tony, Tony, Tony's missus is having a baby, you're going to have to make out with this guy. I went, oh, all right. <laughs> I bet he wasn't as good as me. Well, he... No. I still keep in touch with him. Where's so yeah. Daisy? Daisy. 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 That's Daisy. Oh my God! <laughs> Daisy, look! That's the girl that was born the night we were working together. Hi, Daisy. You probably don't remember me. You were a baby. <laughs> Me. Yeah, that's... She's mouthy, though, isn't she? Yeah. Is she like that at home? She has a mouth. She's a bit like her mother, isn't she, in a way? How's she doing? How's the lovely She's doing home? great. That's fantastic. She's doing great. you got three dogs? Sort Sarah can sort the Jack Russell out. Yeah. Well, I have. I've got nice this Jack Russell dog, which is a, uh, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Well, She's very good with a dog. She is. This, she'll she'll she? sort it out for you. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. Is she it. a dog whisperer? Well, that's, yeah, that's what they say, but, uh, but she's, it's, 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 it's not... 
it's not science, it's obvious, it's basically, it's, okay, it's about tension in, in the body, and if you sort out the tension, because the tension has a direct... Tension in my body or the dog's body? In the dog's, and it's a, it has a direct, uh, it, it, it works on the central nervous system, and basically, if he's tight in his hindquarters, it means that he thinks something's going to happen, and most Jack Russells have got, has he got a duck tail? It's a, it's a, it's a lady, lady dog. Has she got a duck tail? Uh, no, we didn't talk, cut her tail, no. No, we, we, anyway. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. Well, you don't believe sorry. me? I, no, 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 I do, I do, no, I do. No, so, no but it, I will, I will, we'll talk about it afterwards, because it's, it's really, it's, it's non-invasive, it's really simple work, it's so gentle. There's not any of that going No, no, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Which end were you going to do I that? Because I, <laughs> I do that to the dog and she gets very upset. Yeah. I go, you, get over there. Go on, get over there. Sit on the naughty step. Yeah. <laughs> No naughty step. No, it's it's uh, it's it's all positive reinforcement. Well, how many dogs have you got then? Five. 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 What kind have you got? We've got two Maremmas, which are huge uh, Italian um, sheep dogs. They live out with the sheep. Um, you have sheep? We well, occasionally people put their sheep on our land. Yeah, we got we got a bit of. So people drive by your land and go. Hey. It's a good spot for the sheep. <laughs> get out! <laughs> you get over there. Go on over there. <laughs> Do people drive by and leave your rogue sheep uh, like a land on your lap? The dogs are waiting there for them. Uh, they're very polite. They always call first. They're very polite. Well, right, so... <laughs> so you have this sheep sanctuary. Uh, the, uh, the, the, they act, yes, the Marimas don't actually intermingle with the sheep because that, that, they would do in, that in Italy, not, not, not on, on our place. I see. Aye. Mm. So uh, you're, you're not over here all the time now, are you? No. Because when you were doing Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you were I, here. I was here. There's a whole new thing with vampires now. They're oh, vegetarian and gay, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that you can't slay them anymore? Apparently you uh -oh. marry them. <laughs> right? Am I right, lesbian? No! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what the young folks are doing now. They don't slay the vampires anymore. They've been co-opted into this, some wow. kind of teen canteen. <laughs> <laughs> teen canteen? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Look, we're out of time, too. Uh, um, so, you want a mouth organ, uh, touch my glittery ball, or go for the I've big done cash that. prize? A big, oh. 50 uh, bucks in singles. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Could we give it to someone else? <laughs> All right, we could, but for legal reasons, it would have to be this side of the aisle. <laughs> Over here. Because this side of the audience contains your daughter, and that would look like you were yes. trying to give that her money, and CBS are very strict about that kind of thing. <laughs> so we would have to give the money to this side of the audience. So, I, 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 we, we, yeah, I'm not... Well, if, the thing you have to do is you have to mm. win the money first. Don't you? Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, Tony's playing for $50, <laughs> which could be won by... The, he'll give to this side of the audience, should he win? Should he win? Right. Here's what you've got to do. You've got to answer one question. Mm. All right. Mm. It's a pretty difficult question. Uh, uh, okay, here you go. You ready? Uh, okay. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Uh, the capital city of Iceland is Reykjavik. I would have said that, yeah. Right. What is the population... <laughs> <laughs> what is the population of Reykjavik? You're allowed one lifeline to me. <laughs> Ask for your lifeline if you don't know. Can I have my lifeline? Yeah, it's just over 200,000. I'd say just over 200,000. He got it! 